this one. Chelsea's on her very last Zoom call with her entire class. She's having so much fun. They're just talking about their year and what their favorite parts were. It's really cute. And then Ashley has her last Zoom call in like an hour. Actually, what time is it? I need to, I need to stay on track with time today. So I, Ashley has her Zoom call in a half hour. Sorry, Chelsea just shut her door. And then I'm actually going to, as soon as I get Ashley logged on to her Zoom call, I'm gonna take the laptops all back to the school. I've got four of them for all four girls. I'm gonna take those back to the school because it is officially the very last day of school. There's no schoolwork going on. Nothing happened yesterday either. I don't even think any of my kids logged on. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get all those laptops taken back to the school. Nothing else needs to happen for school. And then we're gonna head to the beach and hopefully spend the rest of the day there. Kaylee is gonna come with her friend Evelyn. You guys all know Evelyn if you are a regular with us. And I think she's bringing one other friend. But now when she comes with me, they just kind of separate and they go out to a separate little sandbar area at the lake. Cause they're just embarrassed to be with mom. So it'll be fun and Abby I think is going to stay home because this girl yesterday went to the lake with all of her friends and got fried. She says she put on sunscreen four times and she was there for four hours and she got burned. So I feel bad, but she just has that white skin and <laughs> burns easily, but I'd rather she gets that, you know, first one under her belt and kind of gets her skin kind of a little bit more prepped and ready to go for the summer. So she's gonna stay home and hydrate. Ugh, I'm trying to get my water going. It's already warm outside. I'm gonna hydrate all day long today. I have um, got all of our lunches packed. I've got chips and our sandwiches for the beach and got other stuff in the fridge, oranges and what else do I pack for lunches today. I got oranges. We only had cuties today. So I've got a whole tub of them. I'll have to peel them at the lake. And then carrots and dip again. Ah, I can't get that one to stay in. we we'll fill up water when we get closer. It'll just be a fun day. Jason had to go to work today. I wish we had been able to all go to the beach yesterday, but Jason and I just had too much to do. Sorry, my sister is texting me. And I don't know why. My sister just got a new dog, you guys know that she has her dog Doobie and she just got a new dog. I don't know if they were looking for one or if they just had a friend. I'm totally tangenting, but it's really cute. Maybe I'll get my sister to send me a video of her new dog. But uh, a friend was gonna surprise their granddaughter with a dog for her birthday or Easter or something. I don't remember what it was. And didn't tell the parents, even though they knew the parents wanted a dog. They just didn't tell the parents that they were gonna surprise the grandchild with a dog. <laughs> so then like the day before the girl's, the little girl's birthday, the granddaughter's birthday, the parents surprised her with a dog. So then the grandparents are stuck with the dog. <laughs> they don't have anyone to give it to. And so my sister said, we'll have the dog, we'll take the dog. And so it was already named Zoe by the grandparents. And so they have, I think that's the story. Erin, if you're watching, I think that's what you said so far. If you're wrong, if I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments below. Erin <laughs> never comments down below, by the way. But uh, that's a challenge. Erin, you know you have a YouTube account now. You know you can comment. She only has a YouTube account because she teaches math. <laughs> so she's had to do all of her math lessons online. Okay, too chatty here at the beginning. I've told myself I can't be too chatty, especially at the beginning or I drop off you know, listeners, so, or watchers, so we'll be back when we're going to the school to drop off laptops and beach. I'll try and film a little bit more at the beach and kind of, you know, as the kids are kind of interacting and whatnot. My friends are coming to the beach to join us today, so it does get a little bit harder when friends are around, but one of them has a YouTube channel herself, so she totally gets it and doesn't mind her kids being filmed, and so it might be a little bit easier, but two of the friends are brand new they moved here during quarantine so they don't know anyone so we're trying to like bring them into our circle and introduce them to people but by no means am i going to pull the camera out around them because they'll think i'm a weirdo so maybe i am i don't know 
You guys tell me if I am. <laughs> Ashley's last Zoom call. Probably won't be the last. Who are we kidding? We're probably gonna have to do this again in the fall. Okay, I'm off to return laptops and then I'll see you guys at the beach. I do have to say, for as chaotic as it has been to be at homeschooling and, and transitioning and, and then now coming out of it, they have been so organized with it. Like, I, it has been maybe two minutes for me to drop off these computers at their school. They just have it streamlined and you turn them in and they scan the barcode and they print out a receipt at the next tent and it's just, it was very structured and organized and I appreciate their ability to be able to do that and make it easier for us parents. We just pull up with our car, hand it out the window and everyone stays safe and we get all the information and equipment back to the school and we're done. I don't know that the kids feel like a sense of like excitement, we're, we're done kind of a thing because it's anticlimactic when you're not around any kids and you haven't had your yearbook signed and oh by the way the, the two younger ones have not even mentioned getting a yearbook. I think Abby did not get a yearbook and I'm gonna see if I can get one through our principal who was our best friends. But they you know you don't have that yearbook signing day and the field day and just all those things that are fun at the end of the day and or the end of the school year. So it's a little bit hard but that's why I'm kind of taking him to the beach today to just kind of make it feel like summertime. Are you having fun? Are you tired? No. No? You can't eat chips before you have a sandwich. You ate two carrots, which I'm proud. But you need to eat your sandwich before you have chips, okay? Start with half of a sandwich. That's why I cut them in half. Okay? Has it been fun with all your friends, though? Yeah, you're just tired right now. Let's get you some food, and then you'll feel a little bit better. So Ashley's having a hard time, and my friend is being nice enough to help console her. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful day at the beach. Look at all these kids to play with, and she's choosing to have a hard time. I guess it worked. She's going to play. It's got really windy all of a sudden. Oh, she went and found her friend. Oh, someone's having fun now. I'll go get her. You're in the water the whole time again. You had a lot more friends there today too, huh? Yeah, I had them. Ones we haven't seen in a long time. From, most of them are from school. No, from church and then the others from school. Yeah, you haven't played with some of those guys in a long time. Well, so now we're waiting for Kaylee to come back from the sandbar. Okay, see if we can see them down there. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I look as crappy as I feel. <laughs> uh, we just got home from the lake. Five hours. There, did pretty good. And uh, Jason called in the, when we were in the car coming home from work, and he and I said, "Can you please just get a pizza? I'm so tired." But I don't know what it is about beach days; it's just exhausting. So he's getting us a Papa Murphy's. I'm gonna go shower with the girls. They're up there now. I'm not gonna shower with the girls. <laughs> They're showering. Then I'm gonna shower. I had some kind of an allergic reaction, allergy to the cut grass or something right by my car. Because both getting out of the car and getting all packed up, I was sneezing like crazy, and now my eye, then my eyes itched. So then they were kind of a problem the whole time I was at the lake. And then coming back to the car, again, I was just reacting so bad. But anyway, also I wanted to talk to you about 
why I mainly filmed Ashley at the beach today. I think I only got one or two shots of Chelsea. But let me go and shower and look a little bit better and I will explain that because it was kind of a frustrating afternoon with that little stinker. I wanted to explain really quick why I had a hard time at the lake today and why I didn't get as much footage and have as much fun filming them. One, because Chelsea went off with her friends to the little sandbar area where Kaylee and her, Evelyn spent the day. Um, adults really are, and it's not like we're not allowed over there, but they want, the older kids want to have their space. So I let them go over there. And it's, I don't know, quarter mile away around the little trail. So it's not a big deal, they're, they're close. We can actually see them across the water. Um, but Chelsea went over there for a while with older kids herself and that kind of made Ashley upset even though she didn't even want to go over there. Um, but I think within a half hour of Chelsea being gone, Ashley just got upset. She just was grumpy as all get out and that's why I just, I was to the point where I was calling Jason, I was calling Kaylee to have Kaylee come over and get her. I was threatening to take Ashley home. I was just going to take her home and leave her with Abby and go back to the lake because I didn't want to be done, but she just was so grumpy and oh, I just had had it and my friend, my friends are great and they just noticed that normally I don't have a hard time at the lake anymore and I don't need any help or assistance or anything like that because my kids are older, but they just recognized that Ashley's attitude was hard <laughs> and so the one friend that I, you know you saw, she just kind of took her and put her on her lap and helped her calm down. Sometimes I think we need a village. Like she just would not logically listen to mom. Nothing I said or offered or cookies or anything optional to do, like go have some bury you in the sand or build a sand castle. Nothing I said was good enough. And so it just helped to have another mom, another you know option and someone else to talk to you. And she just, she started out with my friend just, <laughs> just like sobbing, just so upset. And by the time she hopped off of our lap, she just was boing, 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 and she was off playing with all the kids. Um, it kind of happened a few more times throughout the day. She just kind of wasn't all there. I think she's just exhausted. She's definitely exhausted tonight. Um, so I'm glad we stayed as long as we did, but I'm also glad that I have friends who were able to like come in and do a second parenting for me because it was kind of um, necessary or, or she would have just had to be taken home. But we're done for the night. I'm going to bed. I probably will fall asleep here, but I'm going to try and watch um, YouTube and Netflix for a little bit just because I don't want to wake up at one in the morning and not be able to go back to sleep. Like That's normal. So I'm going to try and stay up for like another hour or two just to be able to be really, really tired and sleep through the night. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. I look red in this shirt. Okay, so just to let you know what I'm up to, Dana and the kids went to the beach all day and are just totally blitzed, worn out, exhausted. Um, it's a rough life. <laughs> so what I've done is I did the dishes, kind of just cleaned things up a little bit. I picked up pizza on the way home. Papa Murphy's love it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll take out some trash, do some basic stuff like that. Cause the kids and everybody are already up in their room. Dana's upstairs, <laughs> but she needs it. She needs to go to bed earlier anyways. But what that means is that I get this, this. <laughs> um, I get the TV. More importantly, I guess I get that, the TV. And I'm just gonna watch my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and whatever else comes to mind and uh, call it an evening. It'd be kinda nice. It was a regular day at work. And uh, we'll rinse and repeat for tomorrow, I guess. Leave comments below. How many times does your husband get control of the TV? Or maybe he has control of the TV all the time and now you get control. How do you get control? Not that you gotta have control, but you know what I'm saying. How do you guys share the TV? Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good one and uh, Leave comments below, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Have a good evening.